are submitted to the citizens. They can say, do you want to accept the initiative or do you want to accept the counter proposal? In case it's a double, you, either, and in case there is a majority for both, which one would you prefer? Okay, so it's, yeah. And this is something very um, frequent counter proposal. Very, very often it's coming up because, because Parliament senses it's an issue, but yet they didn't quite get it right or um, so work on it and come up with something better. And often they are withdrawn because they've been happy. I think that, that example is, well, probably it's, it's good enough like that. We're quite happy like what, what we want to get. Going back to the question of do you know, why it works and do it perhaps it works in Switzerland and might not work so well in some other countries. The stereotype, and I mentioned this because it, was, well, because it gives you a chance to combat the stereotype, the stereotype is that Switzerland is always being small, it's very uniform, very much and it's very conservative. And I wonder whether, I, um, whether the direct, you think the direct democratic system would work so well in a country which is more varied, more multicultural, or more divisive. I would strongly disagree to say that Switzerland is very uniform and homogeneous. I mean, um, we have four different cultures. Um, but where is it? Sorry, I'm just missing. Four different cultures, four different languages, um, different religions. Mm, I think that's why we need direct democracy because we're so not homogeneous, not uniform at all. No, I, I, I really, I, 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 I would strongly I can predict that being sits in the on the genus from country. To follow up on that, what you've got there are four groups rather than two. In the Belgian case, you've got two groups and one group yeah. where you can dominate the other. In your state, that would be very difficult for one mm. language being group to dominate. No, again, if you look, I mean, I have to picture, I mean, like the white green, that's the German speakers. I mean, it's a very large majority. I can't really know the, what is it, like about 70% German speakers? Mm -hmm. Also, it, it, it's definitely quite a large majority. Mm -hmm. I couldn't read really the small figures. Yeah, well, it's a hard time too. But it's a large majority of the German speakers. They could basically easily um, dominate. That, that's not the case. There are a number of, because we are a federalistic state, a federal state, and um, Majorities, uh, there are a lot of safeguards um, that are in there, so it wouldn't work if one group could dominate. I also bring the example I'm, I'm, I'm from Zurich, one of the richest cantons, one of the cantons with the most people living in there. My husband is from Tiny Uri. Um, it's like the, I grew up in the city of Zurich, but like the, the, the quarter where I grew up, there were more people living in there than the canton of my husband. Yet now we're um, the chamber, we have two chamber system, and um, both cantons, despite the fact that the canton of Zurich has many, many, many more people than the canton of Zurich, they sent two representatives. So, yeah, there are a lot, number of safeguards, otherwise that would not work. Got a couple more questions right here, and then I'll come back. <coughs>
was the protection of moorlands. I think that has been a very popular one as well. Yeah. So you can tell it's a, a, a very different topic. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to vote at the time, does that excuse me? I don't know. But it's not in, it's not in bold, so it wasn't really an initiative that shaped a Swiss political country fundamentally. It's interesting, perhaps, as the oldest one, there is still quite a sensitive issue in different parts of the world. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there was another question. No, there is this, um, there is this index, huh? Exactly. It's a rich country, and basically even the ones that are not so well to do are still quite okay. Um, can you help me? Do you index? I don't know, but uh, there was just a recent study which showed that the, uh, in general, overall, the, uh, the gap has become smaller between the richer and the poor. So it's one of the few countries of the world where it's, the gap is closing down rather than over. By definition, love you, Miguel. If there was something you could change about the Swiss Swiss uh, direct democracy system, what would it be? Nasty one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it's on the way. Um, right now, um, if there is a citizen's initiative and it violates fundamental human rights, um, has to be balanced there, then it's a fine balance how to deal with it. Now, Parliament um, is coming up with a proposal of saying if a citizen's initiative, for example, would demand that. Um, no new mosques? For example, yeah, um, then it would be declared null and void. And I think that's a discussion that we, we what we've had, we have, and that will be resolved. Um, it's, it's kind of like transition from a formal democracy more to a constitutional democracy. And um, so far we've been able to, mm, you know, but it's better to look at it and to really say now. If, if it is, um, if it violates, for example, our Bill of Rights, if it violates the 